Good evening everyone and welcome to Cheltenham Racecourse, the headquarters of National Hunt Racing for the fifth edition of the McCoy Awards. The stage is set for the recipients of the Human and Equine Awards and tonight the glitz and glamour of National Hunt Racing all comes under one roof where awards will be given out and memories will be shared of the 2022-2023 National Hunt season. Jane, welcome to the McCoys, your first awards, and also not only just attending, you're presenting. How much are you looking forward to this? Yeah, uh, Ruby and I do a lot of work together in Ireland, but it's actually such a treat to be invited here to host the McCoys with him. So yeah. I'm just really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're taking you away from the Star the Harvest Festival, but from, from one rainy probably scene to another, what have, has been your memories of last season? Because there's so many. Is there one stand up for you? When it comes to Jockey Club race courses, you have to think Cheltenham and you have to think that 40 minutes between 3.30 and 4.20 on I think the 14th of March when Constitution Hill and Honeysuckle probably exemplified everything we love about the sport and showed us exactly why we do it. Well, congratulations, not just champion trainer, but also now another McCoy Award. What a year it's been. Nearly best yet, especially by prize money. It was just, yeah. yeah. Um, and a good number of winners and getting back in the winners' enclosure at Cheltenham and mm. winning that King George again. It was a fantastic season, yeah. Horses yeah. went well from the start and very good. And looking into next year, you've got such a range of horses from the babies upwards. You've really got the system really working properly. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, I think there's 18 bumper winners from last year to go novice yeah. hurdling. Plus, if you didn't win, it'd probably be the best of the lot. Yeah. Some great novice chasers. Mm -hmm. um, and the Brave Man's Game, Granite Team, those horses at the top. And I think we've got another 20 unraced bumper horses. So it's a great team coming forward. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get going. And the uh, winning trainer for 39 or fewer horses is from the ex Nichols team, Harry Derrick. What a moment now in your first year training, the McCoy Award. It's just epic. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> really good first four months, but I sort of think, you know, obviously very lucky to get this award, delighted to, but you know, first full season now, so I sort of feel like the hard work starts now already. Yeah, well, it's not just you, on kind of with you, it'll be Oliver Sherbert next year as well. We've got so much to look forward to. Also with Paul O'Brien being part of the team, it's really been a real team effort to get you to where you're at. Massively. Oliver joined a already really good senior team. My sister Amy is a massive part of it. Graham Baines, my head lad. And as you say, Paul has been brilliant. He rode all 14 of my winners last season. So um, hopefully he rides a lot more this year. Our next award is for the leading amateur jockey. It's over to you. The winner is Olive Nickel. Olive, massive congratulations. Champion amateur, but also now on a McCoy Award. <laughs> what a season it's been, your first year riding. Can you ever believe all the success? No, I mean, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, it's only sort of my first full season. Yeah. Um, I've been very lucky with the horses that I've ridden and the support that I've had, but I've just loved every minute of it and hopefully we can keep improving and you know, keep, keep going forward. The next award is for the leading professional jockey and is kindly sponsored by the wonderful Ellenborough Park Hotel. The winner is Harry Skelton. What a year it was. Yeah, no, it was a great year. Um, I was to pick up another award like this, um, you know, is, is great as well. But uh, we had a great run of things and yeah, hopefully more of the same. Reveal our leading hurdle winner. And the winner is Constitution Hill. He's an amazing horse. He's, um, I saw somebody, uh, it was William Haggis describing Baid as being, every day he was laughing and it made me think about this horse because I think they've got similar temperaments. I mean, they're both relaxed, chilled, just do their thing, don't get fussed about anything. And I think that, um, yeah, and I think he's just interested in what goes on around him. Now we move on to the racing ride of the season. The winner is Paul Townend. You, you've plan A, B and C and, you know, I didn't get the start I wanted, so it was on plan Z probably going to the first, but uh, 
things can change so quickly. Um, people are going to change their plans, but if you have half an idea what you're doing going out, you, it, it gives you some chance. But um, yeah, you just have to ride the race that presents itself in front of you. And yeah. luckily enough, we made the right calls and, and we got a bit of luck when, with fallers and things. So um, yeah, it, it, in a race as competitive as that, everything just has to go right. Now we move on to the Training Achievement Award of the season. And the winner is Lucinda Russell. Everything that Carrick does is always surprising and uh, to win the national was, was a bit of a surprise in a way but uh, yeah we'll just see where we go this season. It's, uh, we'll see, we'll still be going to Jock Club Racecourses, we might yeah. be having a quick look at a few races at Cheltenham. That's... Oh back yeah. to Cheltenham, back yeah. to Cheltenham. <laughs> you guys make it look so easy now. Oh, no. <laughs> we're no, always, yeah, we're we're always, always leave with the trophy. <laughs> Time for our next award, which is the leading conditional jockey of the season. And the winner is Luca Morgan. Has there been a highlight from this last year that's gone by? I suppose being champion conditional was a massive highlight. Um, I've been in Ben's for a good few years and he's put so much faith in me and just riding him plenty of winners, so I always felt like I'd be paid his faith in some way. So um, I was pleased for him as much as myself, really. It's absolutely fantastic. I, I, I never even saw this coming, so it's... Yeah, the icing on the cake for this season and you know, the end of Liberal's career. So, yeah. yeah, it's really, really exciting and you know, great for Ben and the team as well. Yeah. Yeah, they've been instrumental in this and yeah, hopefully it's not the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's amazing. Um, it's actually named after my son. So dad named the horse after his grandson. So actually to have a good one yeah. is, uh, has been really good. So yeah, yeah really happy. Your dad obviously is such a pivotal part of, of all of this. His legacy will always live on and it's an amazing to see so many good horses still running in those silks so familiar to everyone in the racing world. Yeah, it is and it's really what my brother didn't sort of come into is that's the third horse that he got named after his son. Yeah. So that's dad's drive always. Like for us, it, you know, he brought us into the game and, and same with Hugo. It's like the first one wasn't any good, the second one, so the third <laughs> one. So there is no excuse for his grandson not to get into racing. As a yeah. family, that's very important to us to carry that legacy and mm -hmm. that will sit on his mantelpiece in his in nine-year-old bedroom and you look yeah. at it and hopefully he'll become the Cheltenham one day and hopefully yeah, we're winning the Gold Cup. We've only got 10 horses in our yard, so we are minuscule. Um, and to have one that's absolutely going to, could possibly go to the top, yeah. is wonderful for us. Yeah, and he's obviously definitely improved ratings-wise this year anyway. He's definitely not got to limit of his potential. How, what are you looking forward to achieving this coming season? Well, who knows? Um, he, he improved all last season and, and I can't see any reason why he won't continue to. Very flattered, thrilled yeah. to be here and see so many really um, important people in racing, you yeah. know, and you're part of it. You know, it's terribly flattering, so I'm very honoured. Well, tonight you're one of them. Well done you. for your McCoy Award. Thank Congratulations. You. <laughs> Thank you. We've just enjoyed every minute, every second of this experience. It's been unbelievable. Did you ever think uh, that any iota in your mind when Willie first said, we've found a horse for you, that this could turn into a Gold Cup winner? No, no, of course we didn't. But if, as he went on, you know, he won the John Durkin, then he went on to win the Paddy Power Gold Cup in Leopardstown and then we came here and the apprehension, the excitement, the nerves, the yeah. nerves were, I couldn't sleep at all the week <laughs> of it. Uh, so it was just fantastic, really wonderful. Yeah, we had a good year, things seemed to work out and uh, uh, with some nice horses, some great staff looking after them and we're in, we're in a very fortunate position. Our final award is the outstanding contribution. His partner, I'm sure, will no doubt um, think that he's, like the rest of us, a very worthy winner of this award. Um, and that is Peter Scudimore. Oh, I just can't believe how lucky I am. Um, I thought all my awards had... I was just an assistant now, pushing the cinder up to get <laughs> the awards. So I, I never expected it. Tremendous shock. And, 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 you know, I've, I've had some honours in my lifetime and this is really, really special to me. Well, what a night it has been here at Cheltenham Racecourse for the 2023 McCoy Awards. Some very deserved recipients of those awards. And of course, we have relived some magical memories and it's just whet the appetite for next season, which is just around the corner. Who are going to be the big names, the big stars, both human and equine this season coming? Well, we'll be back next year to relive those memories here at Cheltenham Racecourse.